What's up, everybody? First, Raw reaction of the night. Raw after SummerSlam 2018. Triple H about to come out to the ring. Uh, my guess, it's, it's going to be pretty boring. Because my guess is he's going to talk about The Undertaker and their match in October at WWE Super Show. That's what Triple H is going to talk about, in my opinion. I wish he'd make some other announcement that I don't know of, but... Here he comes. The game. Triple H. Triple H deserves standing ovation and this because of what he has done with NXT. So that, that guy deserves a ton of credit. For the women's division in NXT. Getting the women's division to be better on the main roster. Getting the women to be taken more seriously like superstar athletes, not divas. Triple H deserves all the credit for the women, in my opinion. He deserves credit for the Mae Young Classic and NXT. And a couple smart fans in Brooklyn were doing this like I was. He deserves it for what he's done with NXT. I have yet to see a bad takeover event. I have not seen a bad takeover event yet. And it's been over four years of takeovers. So they're just showing the graphic of Triple H and The Undertaker because... They're facing off for what they're pushing as the last time ever. Final match ever. He is ready right here, right now, for the Undertaker. I hope he doesn't talk about the Undertaker the whole promo. Because I don't really care to hear it. NXT champs. I like that. NXT, NXT. What a weekend it's been. That, that NXT, it blew the roof off of this place Saturday night. Yes, it did. Last night, SummerSlam took it to a whole nother level. It has been incredible. I sat back there, just like all of you, on the edge of my seat for the whole thing because the truth is, just like you, man, I'm a fan. I love this. This is in me to the core. From day one, and I promise you this, I will work until the day I die to make sure this is here for everyone. Or like Vince, he's going to work to the day he dies and not leave and be out of power. They make me get that itch. They make me get that itch, make me want to rip this suit off. They make me want to take back up. They make me want to lace up the boots and make me want to be the game again. Triple H versus... Champa someday, that'd be awesome. Called me a couple of weeks ago and said, Hey, I just finished up the deal with Paul Dainty in Australia, and we would like you to wrestle there. I said, Hell yeah! 80,000 people, Melbourne, Australia, Super Showdown, hell yeah! And then he said, and we would like you to step into the ring against The Undertaker. And I said, hell no. Hell no. But for a different reason. Why would you say that? Because the truth is, of all the great things I've been lucky enough to do in my career, all the moments that I've had. Can't defeat The Undertaker. Out, head and Never defeated him at WrestleMania. The others. It's a moment that is ingrained in my brain and will never come out. It's a moment at the end of a Hell in a Cell match between me and The Undertaker. 
The mattress billed the end of an era. And myself, The Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels stood at the top of that ramp at the end of that night. That's it right there. Make Shawn Michaels that the referee again as as for the Super Show. That is a moment between the three of us of mutual respect. Make it a triple threat. I would love to see that. I'm standing there. But Shawn is not going to come out of retirement. Two of the biggest icons in this business ever. Two guys, arguably, who you can say are as responsible as anybody for all of this. And that. But that moment changed us. It changed the three of us in a way we didn't expect. Hell, we knew it was the end of an era, but not like that. It it, it chained us. It um it 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 did something to us inside. Where right after this happened, Shawn Michaels was gone. The streak would be dead. The Undertaker would put his hat and his gloves in the middle of this ring and he would disappear. And I would take off this suit. I'd cut off my tape. I'd take off my boots. I'd put this suit on. And I would leave. And it would be over. All of it. It's over. Uh, Spikes this segment up. Have Shawn Michaels' music hit and The Undertaker's, and then three come out and just face off and end this segment. That'll hype the Super Show match even more. That we would all get. That's what I would do if I was booking. I'd have Shawn Michaels come out and The Undertaker, and all three of them just look at each other and end this segment. Screen goes to black. Our era was something special. You still got it, Chance. I agree. Triple H is ripped. Guy's in phenomenal shape for his age. Triple H, with his mind, the guy could probably still wrestle an hour match. Respect reason that I said no. I picked up the phone and I called Vince back and I said, call Dainty in Australia and tell him I'm in. I will take off this suit. Seriously. I will take. Have Shawn Michaels or Undertaker come out. My boots and I will Make this again raw again. have a surprise. I guess a surprise is seeing Triple H.
every fan loves nostalgia. Why not? I'm I'm into seeing Triple H Undertaker one more time. October 6th. Super showdown. Undertaker Triple H. Make it more exciting. Have Shawn Michaels be the ref again. I I would like to see Shawn Michaels wrestle and make it a triple threat. But that's not going to happen. That's fantasy booking. Anyways, bye for now. I'll be back with probably another one more Raw reaction. Ronda Rousey's going to have her title celebration.